Um, I'm proud to present the Hillman Broadcast Prize. Uh, this year's winner is Maria Hinojosa and her team, uh, Brenda Breslauer, Mona Iskander, Brian Epstein, and Judith Star Wolf. Uh, Maria and team were reporting for the PBS show Now. Um, we've all marveled at the impact that DNA testing has had on police work. Uh, historically, prosecution of sexual assault crimes often came down to a he said, she said argument. Um, with advances in DNA testing and the use of other physical evidence, the ability of prosecutors to bring rapists to justice has increased dramatically. So we all assume that when a crime occurs and the police collect physical evidence, um, that that evidence is then tested and used to prosecute the crime. Maria and her team found that all across the country, but particularly in Los Angeles County, thousands of packets of physical evidence known as rape evidence kits are sitting on shelves in cold storage, having never been opened or tested. Some of these kits date to crimes committed over 10 years ago. The Hillman judges commend Maria Hinojosa and producers Brenda Breslauer, Mona Iskander, Brian Epstein, and editor Judith Star Wolf for outstanding investigative reporting. Um, my mom worked selling clothes in Chicago, and so we would go to the Sydney Hillman Center where we would, we were members of, my mom was a member of the union, and that's where I would get my eyes checked every year. So I knew about Sydney Hillman from a long, long time ago, um, and it's very special to be recognized and have your family, has, have Sydney's family here tonight. Um, you know, my mom was the one who, um, who worked selling clothes, but she was also the one who taught me about what participatory democracy looks like. And it looks like taking action. Um, to me, it turned out that I made that action by becoming a journalist. And it is, uh, it's not easy, especially when you're doing stories that are challenging. Um, well, essentially, doing what you guys are recognizing. It's very difficult. It's, uh, you get a lot of hate mail. Um, this morning, there were just a couple of pieces in my inbox. Um, so I, um, it's particularly special for me to have you, and it really does mean something in the world of journalists to be in the world of journalism to be recognized by an institution such as yours. The little story behind how this happened is is that in my time at Now on PBS, <clears throat> I created uh, a women's beat. We didn't call it that, but you know, essentially, it was covering issues dealing with gender. And um, the executive producer of Now gave us the, the possibility to create that beat, which gave the possibility for producers like Brenda Breslauer to say, I have a mandate now, and we can do stories that directly impact women. Um, and that's how, that's one of the ways that this story was, was able to um, come together. Um, part of that beat also dealt with issues of child marriage around the world. Um, the first story, one of the first stories that we did also exposed an untold story about teenage girls who are sexually harassed on the job. What I ended up learning from these women who would tell these stories, these young women, in this case Michelle C., in the case of the young women who are sexually harassed on the job um, in different parts of the country, is that they really, to me, were the American patriots. They are the American patriots who, in the face of being a victim of a rape or of sexual harassment, and knowing that there was a need for justice, um, they step forward. And they're the ones who inspire me because they then honor me and our team to speak with us. And in turn, we show them, um, and certainly Mona Iskander and, um, and Brian Epstein, who were with me on site there um, in Los Angeles, and Judith Star Wolf, who later edited the piece, they, they trust us. And so that's why we were able to get Michelle's story. That's why she opened her heart to us to go back to something that had happened many, many years before. And that's why they led us into the Santa Monica Rape Crisis Center, which they usually don't do with cameras because we have a tradition of caring about these stories. So um, the idea is that these women, in this case, share their stories so that others will feel empowered to do the same. You know, people, often accuse me of having an agenda. In my history of 25 years in journalism, I'm always like, well, you've got such an agenda. Um, and I'm just like, you know, I'm just trying to tell the truth. Honestly, I'm just trying to tell the truth. And somehow, it's like seen as having an agenda. Um, and it is a mission. It is my mission, I believe. I mean, I chose to become an American citizen, so I take my, I take my civic duty very seriously. And, um, and I see it as my mission, as giving back. What this award does to me is to give me the wherewithal to continue. 
Um, the team behind me is now working on the show that replaced the, sadly, um, disappeared now on PBS. They all worked it now on PBS. Um, what I did, because you're probably wondering what she's doing, um, I took this opportunity and formed my own media company called the Futuro Media Group, and we are in charge of content and we'll be working on primetime specials for PBS and our producing and PR programs and all of it where I'm the president of my own company. So the buck stops with me. It's pretty amazing. But because of that, we're able to continue to tell these stories. So tomorrow, for Need to Know, I will be going out and updating a story we did for now on PBS about soldiers who come back with traumatic brain injury um, and the wives who don't leave them. Um, tomorrow on Latino USA, well, today we spent the whole day reporting on this extraordinary decision by the president to send down 1,200 um, troops to the border on the eve of the massive mobilization on May 29th in Arizona to protest what's happening there. Latino USA was on the ground in Arizona um, within days of that, of that uh, law being signed. Um, so we continue to tell these stories. Um, we will be on our way to, the BB, uh, to Puerto Rico with the BBC to tell untold stories from there. So all of the recognition that you give to me um, is so that I can continue doing this. And the most important person I want to thank is my husband, Herman Perez. Ah, because were it not for you, honey, I wouldn't be able to do this. He really is amazing. And thank you so much. This means the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you.